What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, I am in Italy. Where are you? <laughs> Today I am in Bologna, Italy. We are here for a huge trade show for my brand and we are expanding Jeffree Star Cosmetics into the other regions of the world. You know I can't ever sleep, so I am going to test out some makeup today, and in particular, a new concealer that just hit the market that everyone is talking about. Today, we are going to dive in into the new Laura Mercier Full Coverage Concealer. Now, I just got this in the mail, I brought it in my suitcase, and I'm like, bitch, we're in Italy. Let's talk about and let's review some makeup. We're also going to do a wear test today, so I am going to apply this concealer, we're going to talk about the formula, how it smells, how it looks, how it wears, and then we're going to go adventure out into the city, and I'm actually going to go makeup shop while I test out makeup and I'm gonna do another video where I do a full face of using only Italian makeup So if you want to see some full coverage extravaganza keep on watching So I am a concealer junkie a concealer whore and whenever there's a new formula that is on the market I got to try it so Laura Mercier one of the most consistent I think brands in Sephora that I've tried where it's just most of the stuff It's just consistently good which is kind of hard to find because a lot of brands have so many hits or misses lately. I don't know what the hell is going on in this beauty industry, but Laura Mercier is here, she's back, and she has a new formula which is called the Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer. Girl, that is a mouthful. And it comes in this box right here. It is the Soft Touch Black Unicarton that most of her stuff comes in. Very standard Laura Mercier. Now on the box it says that this formula has 0.23 fluid ounces in it. I think that's pretty standard for a concealer. And as you see when we open the boxes up, the concealers look like this. There is a lot of product in here. Um, her packaging is always very minimalistic. It's very simple, which I don't mind. Her brand is very like that. So I don't expect anything, you know, wild or, uh, you know, it's just very like clean and I like it. Let's dive in here and find out the real tea on this formula and all the facts. So this formula does come in 12 shades. The shade range isn't that bad. Okay, it kind of is. They definitely need to do more. Laura, what's up, girl? The price point for this is $28 retail, which I think is very standard for a more high-end concealer. Now, what is this formula allegedly supposed to do? Let's see what it says here. This is a medium to full coverage weightless concealer that perfects, hydrates, and blurs with up to 12 hours of crease resistant wear. Okay. I guess when we do our wear test and we go walk around and explore the city, we'll see if this really does hold up. So this formula is oil free, it's dermatologically tested, it's supposed to give hydration all day, hiding under eye darkness, facial imperfections. It's gonna give a natural finish. Are you sure if it's full coverage? But we'll see in a second. This is a concealer. We know how to put it on now And when I do reviews, I like to do one side with a beauty sponge and one side with either Fingers a brush or something different just to see how the formulas work with a wet sponge versus something dry So um, I did get a lot of feedback from you guys from my Vegas hotel video You guys were like, please come closer if you're going to review something So I really appreciate the feedback and now we're about to punch in really close and see if this concealer is just Jeffree Star approved or not. So we're gonna do this review a little different than normal. Now, hi, we're punched in. You can see all my imperfections. We got discoloration, we got freckles, we have a bit of uh, veins under here, um, and we're gonna see how this formula really performs. So I thought, why would I wanna do full foundation before the concealer? I think because this is a review video, I am gonna do foundation, but I wanna do concealer first, which we normally do not do on this channel. First of all, I bought three shades, okay? I bought shades 1N, 2C, and 1C. You never know about anything online. I'm like, girl, we just gotta guess and pray that it matches. Now, I will say this. One of them, I think, will definitely be a match. 1N looks light enough for me. But the other two, 1C is so peachy looking. Uh-uh. And then 2C is too dark. So we're definitely gonna have to go in with 1N today. And I do wanna kind of give my skin a little bit of moisturizer. So we're gonna go in with the Tatcha Water Cream. This is one of my new favorites. I know everyone has been raving about it and I've never used it. I love Tatcha products, but I've never really used this. So I'm just gonna go in with a little synthetic brush and I don't know how much to put on. I don't wanna be too hydrated or is that even a thing? Now I do like to do moisturizer right under my eyes. If you are someone who has dry under eyes or baking or setting powder makes you look kind of cakey or crepey, you really want to hydrate under the eye. And of course, you can use an eye cream, use a light day one. You don't want a really heavy night one because it's going to make your 
concealer and foundation maybe not look as flawless as it normally would. So we're just gonna rub this into the skin and get it ready for some makeup. Now for the right side of my face, I am going to be applying it with a wet sponge and today we're going to use the Veramona Cake and Bake Sponge. I love this, I haven't used it in a while, but we're back, it's here, um, and I love kind of rediscovering and going through my makeup drawers and my kit and seeing things that I loved months ago and kind of forgot about. I think when you review and try so much stuff, you kind of, you know, things get lost in the mix and you forget some bomb ass products. So I don't know if anyone out there has tried this, if you have, girl. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, cool, you guys. So let's take this concealer. We're gonna do this side, of course, with the Veramona sponge. And let's just apply it like how I normally would. So this is what the wand looks like. It is a flat looking um, little moment. And I'm just gonna do it how I normally would. So we're gonna definitely do the under eyes. I'm gonna do one, two, three. It doesn't matter how it looks. It's all gonna be blended, of course, in a minute. But I am just gonna kind of dot that everywhere. Now that is a lot of product. I love a good concealer. So let's take this sponge and let's just press this into our skin. Oh, wow, okay. First impressions is, hi, goodbye discoloration. Now with the sponge, you can really get under the eye. I may have some sleep in my eye, which yes, I do, you guys. This jet lag is real. We're gonna go back in with the sponge and go right up in there, perfect. Wow, that blends out really quickly and really easy. So, okay, let me just pull back with my mirror here and let's see how that looks after blending out quickly. Oh, wow. I'm like, I mean, I'm, we all know it's concealer. I'm not like so shocked where I can't breathe, but I'm like, wow. I mean, look at the before and after. I'm just gonna stare straight into the camera. You can definitely see a huge difference Here's the basic boring side, and here is the flawless side. What do you guys think so far? So I don't know if there's a magician living under my skin, but I really like how this is looking. Now normally I'm used to like full foundation, then concealer, but I see why a lot of you who don't have enough time to do a full face every day, just throw on concealer, powder, and mascara because this was so easy. I feel like I could put this on in the morning and just feel a little bit better about myself. No, I'm just kidding. You guys should really embrace your imperfections and really not give a fuck. Makeup, of course, is all for fun, but if you have dark circles and you're insecure about them, bitch, what is makeup for, right? We see how this looks with the sponge. I think it looks great. I would love to do the other side and try my finger. It literally says on here, you can warm it up with your fingers and press it in and then use a brush. We're just gonna go ham and let's see what happens. So. Let's do the exact same amount as the other side. Now the only thing, there's no blurring primer, so your pores down here may show a little bit more, but... Okay. So I'm just gonna take my finger right here and let's just start pressing it in and dabbing it. Now of course a sponge is going to soak up product, so I may have put on way too much, which that's totally fine. We can always buff it in with the sponge in a minute. Okay, so because I put a lot of product on, I'm actually gonna take some and do it on my lid. I didn't do that on this side yet, but you guys know I always take my concealer and I do my eyelid, I do really the brow bone and really everywhere. So if you do have extra product, just take it and spread it around. Now I know I have not blended it up to my eye. I don't wanna irritate my eye with my finger, so I am gonna take the sponge and just buff it out a little bit. But as you can see, it's definitely a little bit more full with just the finger, which I really don't mind. Let's blend and let's see how this looks. I literally forgot how good the sponge is with this like edge here. It gets right up in that lash line. All right, you guys, so let's compare both sides and let's see which one we like more. Of course, this has just the sponge and this was my finger and the sponge. So. What are we feeling? Am I blocking the light, you guys? Sorry, it's a lot of, a lot of hotel windows behind me. Okay, so the formula is hydrating. Thank God, this has been dry now for about 10 minutes and it's not really settling, it doesn't look crazy. You can see a little bit in my fine lines under my eyes, but we also haven't set it yet. So that is probably going to hopefully help. But it did settle a tiny bit in my lines, of course. I've been moving all around and I did not set it, so it's really not fair to judge yet. But if you're someone that doesn't like to set or your skin's maybe too dry and you hate setting powders, you do want to be mindful of that. But 
So far, so good, honey. Okay, so let's take concealer and let's put it everywhere else where I normally would, just for fun. And we may even put foundation over it, but I just want you guys to see how this looks. I do love brightening my chin. Sometimes I will put concealer under my contour just to really shape my face. Hello, plastic surgery, how are you? Of course, you guys know I love to do a little bit down my nose. And of course, we're gonna brighten our foreheads. So let's take that sponge and let's get to blending. Oh wow, it just blends so easy. I'm like, huh. Hello nose. Oh, I look like I got a sunburn on my nose. What the fuck happened, you guys? Just press, blend, and buff. Wow, I could. I feel like I could put on sunglasses and leave the house and I'm ready to roll. But first impressions overall, I am pleasantly surprised with how this is looking. It's very, it's funny because they did say medium to full and also natural and I was like rolling my eyes like, girl, girl, come on now. But for some reason, it really is, it's medium to full and it does look natural. How? I'm like, hmm. Usually it's like caking already or it's a little weird, but no, it's pretty good so far. All right, now that the concealer is laid down, let's set it. Now I know a lot of you are gonna be like, all right, let's see the Laura Mercier setting powder. Um, I'm not gonna use that today. Number one, I forgot it. Number two, I've been loving the La Mer one for months now. Um, number three, a lot of you may not have the Laura Mercier, and even if you have a concealer by a brand, you do not need to go buy the matching setting powder or foundation or brush or whatever people try to tell you. If you love a $5 setting powder, I don't care if it's $5 or $100, if it works for you, use it over your concealers because only you know what really works for yourself. So I am going to go in with my favorite La Mer the powder and we're just gonna take this sponge, dunk it right in and ooh, there it goes. Let's just take that and press it right under the skin. Now I love this because it really just melts into that concealer. Now remember, I didn't do any concealer on this lid, only on this side, but anyway, this powder, for some reason, it doesn't really bake, like it's not gonna sit on top of it, it literally melts like into the formula and bam, there it is. All right, wow. I'm like, are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? Like, okay, bitch. Let's set the left side of the face. And of course we are gonna do the eyelid on this side and then we will match it in a second over there. And then I'm not gonna bake on the sides of my face because I am gonna add some more foundation around the concealer in a second, but wow, what do you guys think? Now I am going to finish up my face. I'm really not going to do crazy makeup. It's going to be very minimal. But I am going to do some foundation. We're going to do some bronzer and some highlight. And then I am going to get dressed. I wish I could walk around with a robe. Well, maybe I can't. So I am going to do this all around the concealer. This is like my foundation beard. And this is the La Mer Soft Fluid, you guys. I know this foundation is pricey and a lot of you are rolling your eyes at me like, you bougie ass ho. But this formula is so good. Excuse me, hair. My ear needs some product. All right, the foundation is laid. I do wanna take some pressed foundation powder from Chanel, this is one of my favorites. And we are just gonna place it everywhere where the concealer is not, just to set the rest of my face to make sure we don't look too crazy. Now I gotta say, this foundation and concealer combo, pretty happy with it. All right, you guys, I am gonna go finish up the rest of my face and get dressed, and I will be right back. All right, you guys, my face is done. I did the most simplest look. I took cake mix, ouch, and sugar cane from the blood sugar palette and just dabbed it on real quickly. And then I did candy floss, actually, from the blood sugar palette as a highlighter with sarcophagus from the 24 karat skin frost pro palette on top. And I'm just like, ooh, girl. And then I finished it with a little Burberry mascara and a Ciate London liquid lip in shade Undressed. Um, all right, you guys, I am going to throw on a jacket. It is 40 degrees outside, and we're gonna go shop for makeup, and let's see how this concealer lasts. So I did bottom mascara under, but I didn't do any shadows, so all day we can see how the concealer is going to look. So um, let's get going. Cheers to Italy. Cheers. A straw for everything. Okay, so question. The lighting in this hotel is so dim and awful right now, which is great, because I want another real lighting. So what do you think of the concealer for real? A little bit of creasing, barely. A little bit of creasing, mm -hmm. but pretty normal. 
Not, it doesn't, does it look dry or no? Like, do it look like alligator skin? It feels nice, yeah, still. I think it looks nice. Hmm. Yeah. Let's do a little close-up. And you guys can really see what it looks like. I'm, I'm gonna look in the reflection of my phone. Yeah, the um, lighting is tough. Oh, the lighting's horrifying, which is great because everyone at home can really see what it looks like. I like it, I think it still looks really pretty. Of course, there is a little wear and tear under the eyes. It said that there was uh, anti-creasing in here. Um, we'll see in a few more hours what happens, but what do you guys think? Hey, you guys, so I've had the concealer on for about six hours now. It is 5.43 p.m. here in Bologna. Um, and we're just chilling on the balcony, y'all. Hi. <laughs> All right, so I brought a mirror out here. Let's see what's going on here. <gasps> the mascara, Burberry, what's good, honey? Look at this, there's like residue coming off on the concealer from the mascara. Ew, now I'm not gonna touch it up because we are not touching up today. We're gonna show you guys until the end of the day how well the concealer holds up. So, there may be some mascara marks on there, but overall, concealer is looking Damn, bitch, it's looking pretty good. A tiny bit of creasing, but I've been looking down and all over the place all day. So for no touch-ups, pretty good. All right, we are checking in right now. It is about 8.44 p.m. here in Italy and girl. We stopped our dinner so I can do a little quick check in we're having a Jeffree Star Cosmetics employee dinner right now but I'm like girl we gotta see this concealer so let's really zoom in here I have no idea what I look like so I have a compact here let me give you my phone <laughs> um, hi Italy now let me look okay honestly I haven't looked at myself I'm a little shiny from a lot of highlight and my foundation being on without touching up but it's really not that bad like it's kind of sick huh of course, you guys can see the mascara, um, the stain did stay on my eye, which, thanks Burberry. But um, besides that, the concealer actually looks amazing. Not that I'm shocked, but wow, for being on this long, no touch-ups, I'm shook. Okay, so we're doing our final check-in. It is 11.04 p.m. I'm tired, the jet lag is sinking in, but let's do our final check-in right now. I haven't really looked um, in the last two hours. Whoa. Look, I'm like, whoa! Okay, I've had this on for hours and hours. I know every check-in I've mentioned the mascara. Besides that, I'm like, are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? Besides a little barely creasing, which I would normally touch up throughout the day myself, without any touch-ups, this concealer is amazing so I think you guys already know what I'm about to say but not shocked here the Laura Mercier full coverage ultra longwear concealer is Jeffree Star approved I am shocked at how great this formula has lasted no touch-ups with really no primer except moisturizer under it remember we did no primer today it has upheld beautifully so I think every day on this trip I will be using this concealer I'm a little shook right now um, Wow, I can't stop looking at it. I'm like, damn, Laura, you did that, girl. You guys, it's time for bed. I am exhausted. I'm gonna go FaceTime Nate and take all of this off. So thank you guys so much for watching the review. Of course, sound off below. Let me know what you guys think about the formula, how it looked, how it wore throughout the day. Let me know what you guys are seeing and um, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Mwah. Bye, guys.